got an update tonight to an NBC5 investigation we told you about last month. The growing numbers of threats to libraries, in addition to the record number of challenges to the books on the shelves. Tonight we have some new numbers showing the challenges that continue to stack up. Here's NBC5 investigative reporter Bennett Haberle. NBC5 investigates sent out hundreds of public records requests to public schools and libraries across the Chicago area, asking if they've ever faced a challenge to one of their books. And now we've logged more than 500 local challenges, mostly in the past three years. This is the story of just one of those challenges. On a Friday morning in January of 2022, a counselor at LaSalle Peru High School found an email from a parent whose son had enrolled in a class called Multicultural Literature. The parent wrote, quote, My son is currently enrolled in a racist critical race theory class. We do not teach our children to be racists by lessons taught in this multicultural class. We need him dropped from the class immediately. The parent also mentioned this book, The House on Mango Street, which she said is, quote, promoting racial resentment and emphasizing students' ethnicity rather than individuality. We emailed the parent hoping to get a response. Reached by phone, he told us the book was one of many he and his wife felt were inappropriate. I invite them to read the books. I invite them to communicate with me. I have a website. We I also talked to the book's author, email. Sandra Cisneros. And as I said, my books are my children. Cisneros wrote The House on Mango Street more than 40 years ago. She drew on her experiences teaching here in the Pilsen community, braiding together the lives and experiences of her students to form the book's narrative, which delves into tough subject matter and adult themes, including poverty and sexual assault. And I didn't know what to do about their lives. I didn't know how to protect my girls or my young men from the violence or the the. the horrible things that were happening that shouldn't be happening to, to any human being, let alone someone who's still a child. The book has won several awards and is required reading in many classrooms. And that's what concerned the parent in LaSalle, who wrote that this book is not valid English course content. It is woke content. The school allowed the child to drop the class. NBC5 Investigates has found challenges to books like this have skyrocketed in the Chicago area over the past three years. Since our first report, our count has now grown to include 529 such challenges, and the American Library Association lists The House on Mango Street as one of the most challenged books nationwide. I've heard this criticism where the book may draw on a conversation that parents just don't want to discuss. Well, I wrote the book in such a delicate way that there's nothing that would offend anyone if you're not initiated into this issue. Cisnero says she likes to hear and respond to critics and likens her books to medicine, adding that not every book is going to be the correct prescription for every person. So I hope that people who are a little frightened by it may understand, well, this is the reality of my community, and the power of a book is to be able to see yourself in a skin that isn't yours and to see people most unlike you and understand, oh, that's me. Our reporting doesn't end here. Online, our team has assembled a searchable database of all the books and materials we found challenged in the Chicago area, more than 500 in total. To see that, just go to our website, NBCChicago.com. Bennett Haberly, NBC5 Investigates.